Sierra Now Business Matters. I am your host, Amy Smith, and I am so delighted to be here today with Jennifer Morrow. Jennifer is the owner of Elevated Gifts and Decor, located here in Bishop. Jennifer, thank you so much for coming on the show. It is absolutely my pleasure to be here You're and welcome. to meet you. This is a beautiful store. You have so many unique treasures and gifts, clothing, jewelry, accessories. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about the items that you have here and what your customers can expect to find when they come in to see you? I would say the main thing when you come in that you can expect gifts and decor for the outdoor lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of everything. Uh, that's one of the things I say as soon as they come in. We got a little bit of something for everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Clothing, um, gifts, decor. We have um, environmentally friendly products, which is a big important thing for us. We get our products from small businesses oh. and we have local vendors, local makers that we are now carrying in the store. And you can really see that it is so unique. I mean, you have, you've got so many options for, for any type of buyer, any type of shopper. Mm -hmm. I actually came in in December and I had a great big long Christmas list. I didn't know that you were here at that point in time. I walked into your store and I was so impressed. And I have to tell you, you made me look so good on Christmas uh, with all the gifts that I picked up here. So thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about where you find all these treasures? You mentioned local vendors. Uh, I'd love to hear more about that. Um, once January came around and the holidays were over, we were able to focus on getting local vendors in. We now have uh, handmade candles um, from Lone Tree Candle Company. Mm -hmm. She also she makes the concrete vessels as well as the candle. Mm -hmm. uh, we have handmade, like completely handmade bags uh, by Empty Bag Works and she is also local and we're gonna get to start picking out some of the fabrics geared towards more of our clientele mm -hmm. you know, and do some custom stuff. Uh, we have pottery and some jewelry, uh, tiny holes, earrings. So you have to come in, people need to come in and see those to understand what they are, but when they see them, everyone loves those. I saw those, they're, they're behind me now <laughs> yes. and they are so cute and so right. neat. Necklaces, and I mean, earrings, zipper pulls. Oh, and yeah, they're tiny holds, yeah. is that what, oh, I love, yeah. love those. And, and really, truly one of a kind stuff. Handmade Absolutely. things that there is only one of those items mm -hmm. available and you can get it here. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, how do you market yourself to customers? How do customers find you? How has that worked for you since opening in? The end of August. You opened the end of August. Yeah. And, and how has that worked for you reaching out to clients and customers here in Bishop? At this point, we've been mostly working by word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we have the Bishop Area Chamber of Commerce helping us. They've got our back. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be in the Bishop Magazine. We're going to be in a little flyer that they're putting out for art and antiques and gifts mm -hmm. for people during fishing season that may not fish but would like to have something else to do in town. What additions to your inventory can we expect in the future? More local vendors, but the thing I'm most excited about is I had two weeks ago took a trip back to Indiana, where I'm from. Oh and went to the antique stores there, mm -hmm. some of my favorite haunts back in the day. So mm -hmm. we're gonna have some really cool vintage items because we do have some vintage in here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of got to go with the feel that we're offering in mm -hmm. the shop and everything mm -hmm. like that. So some new unique finds that you might not find in California. And you and I were talking about that earlier because I'm from the East Coast and there are huge antique stores back there, antique yeah. depots that have different vendors offering all kinds of stuff, but I've never seen it in California. Um, I've spent a lot of time in the Eastern Sierra, so that is going to be so key to bring that yeah. here. And I can't wait to see what our West Coast friends and, and the residents here think of I'm that. I'm looking forward to a day in the summer when I can drive the Jeep back to Indiana <laughs> and come back with a U-Haul. Oh, yeah. It would be fantastic. Oh, it would be too. And there's a style, an East Coast style that I've seen that yeah. I that you don't get to pick and up And you know what I think is much. really important about that is mm -hmm. when it comes to being environmentally friendly, let's not mm -hmm. forget about the reuse part. Yes. So. Yes. That's important, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it already exists. Mm -hmm. We use it as it is, use it as decor, use it for storage. I've got a 1950s train case oh. that I bought that'll be coming back. Oh, I can't wait what to see that. What a great place that. for notes or oh, whatever, yeah. whatever yeah. your heart's delight. Well, and just the nostalgia attached to right. that as well. And then to repurpose it, that yeah. is, that's gonna be fantastic. I've actually seen where they've taken apart entire barns and use that yes. old aged barn wood to make it into furniture. And let's drive back and let's we can we'll just haul a barn back. <laughs> you and I, we're, we're, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> we're gonna need two U-Hauls. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. What has the community response been to your store, to opening, to offering something that I haven't seen others offer in this area before? 
people seem very pleasantly surprised yeah. and to open it i mean mm -hmm. the scariest thing for me was to just put myself out there uh mm -hmm. this is what i like mm -hmm. this is what i think people will like and then for them to come in and when they do leave thanking me for being here uh -huh. i mean that's the best thing a business owner can hear oh I love it. I love that too. <laughs> and you mentioned that you have a design background. Do you have an interior design background? Is yes. it specific to that? or Interior design background, um, heavy on architecture uh -huh. and stuff uh -huh. like that. So when I was a kid, one of my favorite things was we'd go to a friend's house and my parents. And of course, I'm young and I don't want to be there and I'm bored. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I would figure out the floor plans. And I would think, well, if you had just moved this wall or if you could put a doorway here uh -huh. and it would be like this, that's how I passed my time. I just, <laughs> and I was the person that always was re rearranging the bedroom, oh. which I also got in trouble for once with a friend. <laughs> when it's <laughs> not your bedroom. Yes. <laughs> They're like, it's time to go. Uh -huh. And then we have the furniture. <laughs> Fungi you know. <laughs> so, so it's been a thing. Yeah. And I think that's so important in people's personal space. Well, and you can feel it. And from the first moment when I walked into your store in December when I had found mm -hmm. you for the first time, I could feel it when I walked in. Um, it's a really unique space. The way that you've placed all of your merchandise is just perfect. You know, I'm here looking at one thing and then my attention right. is here and there. And it's such a warm, welcoming um, atmosphere. And you can really see that interior design come into everything that you do. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're going to take a brief moment and we're going to hear from our sponsors. And then when we come back, we're going to continue to talk to Jennifer of Elevated Gifts and Decor about how she found the Eastern Sierra, what keeps her here, and why she loves this community so much. Thank you. Since we did the interview, we have moved to downtown Bishop, right on Main Street, just behind Looney Bean. We're open every day, nine to four, except for Wednesdays. Can't wait to see you. High Point Solar is your leading local solar power and battery backup company with access to the world's best technology. High Point Solar has installed over 1.4 megawatts of solar power in the Eastern Sierra. That's hundreds of homes in your neighborhood benefiting from low to no energy costs. With rising costs from the utility, the time has never been better to gain your energy independence with solar solutions provided by High Point Solar. Visit us at highpoint-solar.com. Welcome back to Eastern Sierra Now, Business Matters. I am your host, Amy Smith, and we're going to continue talking to Jennifer Morrow of Elevated Gifts and Decor. We've talked so much about the store, all of the amazing things that you have mm -hmm. to offer here, how unique these gifts are. But I wanted to know, what keeps you in the Eastern Sierra? How do you recharge your batteries after putting so much love and energy into this store and into your customers? I think, and this place makes it so easy, one of my favorite things to do is to hop in the Jeep, drive out to the Tablelands, mm. shut it off, and uh -huh. just be out there. Uh -huh. There's no noise, there's nothing. And to just really feel grounded and mm -hmm. just make it all stop. And just and it doesn't take long. Yeah. Because everything here is so grand. And <laughs> It is, I, yeah. and I know for me, I've never seen mountains that were so majestic. You can see in so many directions, it's so yeah. vast, and still feel so small, but so grounded right. and connected. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, the table lands, and you're in your Jeep, and that, and you have Jeep uh, memorabilia yes. here, and t-shirts and things yes. too, as well. So now I know where the Jeep is. And one of my is. favorite <laughs> things has been the people that come in and talk about their Jeeps. Uh-huh. And it's a <laughs> lot of women. Yeah, oh yes. And I think yeah. it, I've, provided a space where like, I'm a woman too. I, yeah. We're not gonna judge or talk about, well, you, yeah. do you have this or not say that mm -hmm. or whatever. And yeah. just to hear and see the joy oh. <laughs> of like, we're out, we're crashing mm -hmm. through puddles, we're doing our thing. Yeah. I, yeah. It's 
forming like a little sisterhood. I oh, love it. I, and I love those strong <laughs> women in this community. Yes. yes they're and a strong outdoors business women. Yes. I, yeah, there's a, a huge connection to strong women yeah. here, I think. And I'm so, and it's so neat that you can bring that into your store okay. and offer, you know, Jeep t-shirts or awesome earrings. Right. With, you know, it's just, you know, so yeah. many things to offer, to offer. So when did you decide to start your own business, become an entrepreneur, your own boss? What was the catalyst to making that decision? Well, the catalyst is a weird story, um, but I do want to say, so maybe a year and a half before we actually got this property, mm -hmm. which was in April, uh, my partner Brian and I were, let's do it. We're just, and you kind of prepare and you think, I need to know everything and I, you're never going to know everything. I learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. But one day when I was leaving my job, my son had happened to be looking for an apartment and I was walking out the back of Good Earth and this single piece of paper comes flying up and I thought, pick that up, obviously because we should pick up garbage, <laughs> but it might have a listing for an apartment. Mm -hmm. And instead what it had was a listing for this place. And I was like, that's our sign. Oh, Let's do it. Oh, it's meant to be, it's yeah. magic. Oh, I love and that. And then within 24 hours, we had secured mm -hmm. the place. Oh. And here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that went, yes. that went very quickly. Yes. It yes. did. It did. What do you think are the biggest challenges to running a successful business in the Eastern Sierra? I think obviously the dealing with the ebb and flow of the traffic coming through town. Mm -hmm. We're small, so I've been trying to be very careful about we want to be unique and we don't want everyone to have the same thing. So I may only have one or two of the items so we can keep it fresh. I think that's an important thing. And I would say not being from here, I just don't know as many people, mm -hmm. you know, as I did when I would take on some project back in Indiana. Ah. But the people that have come in and ask about how business is going and I say things like, you know, getting the word out or mm -hmm. this and that, and I've been given all kinds of information, phone numbers and names, this is who you need to contact and all of that. So that takes a weight off, yes. a big weight. And I just think that the more people that come in, you know, and then the word will get out and we'll just grow organically. I really appreciate that because it, you do feel it when you're here. You know, the energy that this place has, it's, it's a little bit more than a store. You know, there are so many interesting things right. to look at, to shop for, to give us gifts. So I completely understand what you mean. If people just come in, they're going to love it. They're going to yeah. find 10 things they didn't know that they needed for themselves and for right. their, their and loved I, ones. I also think being in a small town, you know, I have to be open mm -hmm. to offering things that might be out of the box. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. a knitting group wants to come in one evening and knit in a nice relaxing space oh. and dim the lights with mm -hmm. music. Fantastic. Sign Book clubs, anything. Yeah. And I've even mm -hmm. told uh, some of the younger women that come in and mm -hmm. check out some of the baby stuff that we have, you're welcome to come back without the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in one of the chairs, scroll uh -huh. through your phone, and just take a break. Oh, yes. And as mothers, I know how <laughs> right. important that even 15 right. minutes for your own self, yeah. your own your own quiet right. space. So, oh, my goodness, that yeah. is, that's so valuable. That's going to be so valuable to <laughs> right. so many people. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of people You will. I mean, now you will have all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so what advice do you wish you had been given before opening the store? Just kind of going in blind, knowing that no matter what, you're going to have to figure it out. That you're going to have to figure it out and what it will become. You just have to kind of follow that path mm -hmm. and be open to changing, not being stuck in this is how I want to do it, this is how it'll be done. Yes. We've been open five months and probably had 20 reincarnations of <laughs> like <laughs> no, where everything goes, uh -huh. how it's going to be set up and all uh -huh. of that. And that's, yeah. Yeah, that's part of the fun of it too. Well, and it's part of the fun of being one of your customers mm -hmm. is you can come in and you can see it change and you can see right. new things and new vendors. And I mean, it's, it's always interesting, always something new to see when I visit. Yeah. So I appreciate that too. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give to an entrepreneur that's in a position, maybe not this type of store, but that wants to step out on their own, step off the treadmill and make their own way? I think one of the most important things, and then like I had mentioned Brian, mm -hmm. is that you need somebody in your corner to bounce ideas off of that understands that when you say some of these craziest things, you uh -huh. know, like that they understand that you're going to reel yourself back in. But <laughs> mm -hmm. I think you have to go so far sometimes so that way you realize if I pull back just a little bit, that's the perfect spot. Yes. And that goes to design and products and just 
life in general. You got you to gotta push, and then you can be like, there it is. There's the spot. Yes. But you can't know it until you pass it. Yes, you've got to go for right. it and then <laughs> adjust your balance and adjust. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> back it up. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, that is that is great yeah. advice. I really, I love that advice. Yeah. And to be yourself. I think that's the most important. And be true to that authentic mm -hmm. self. Yeah. 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 What what goals do you have uh, for the for living here in Bishop, for the community, the store? Where do you see yourself? How do you see yourself moving forward? I obviously we will, would like to have more products and get bigger and mm -hmm. offer all of that. But the thing that has happened recently that's one of my favorites is the chance to give back to the community, uh -huh. as I think helping that, like I said, I've done the fundraising and all of that, and I know how important that is and how hard it is to go and ask for the help yes. from businesses. Nobody likes to do that. Yes. Yeah. Um, but when I had my first donation um, for an event that was going on, I don't even remember what the sales were that day. I was like, we made our first donation. <laughs> oh. I was so excited because I, that's, community. I mean, mm -hmm. it's everything. And we're mm -hmm. small and we have to rely on each other mm -hmm. and whatever we can do to help each other out and support other businesses, things like that. I mean, if we all help each other, then we'll all do well. Yeah. And, and that's one thing that I noticed coming into your store because I've seen, you know, I've been in other stores where you have a very high quality merchandise, but your price point makes this store affordable for everyone. Mm -hmm. And did you want to talk a little bit about the price point, about what we can see when we come in, or the affordability of such unique items? Well, it almost kind of creates a flashback of <laughs> when I was in design school, mm -hmm. and I had a professor, you know, he was asking us what we all wanted to do when, with our design, and I said I wanted to design for regular, everyday people. And mm -hmm. he told me I was crazy, and that wouldn't work, meaning, you know, you need to work for people with all the money and do all of that. Mm -hmm. Well, design's been a huge part of my life and creating comfortable spaces and having nice things. You don't have to have a lot, but if you're going to buy a candle, a nice candle, mm -hmm. something that you enjoy. Uh, so I've tried to provide those products here, keep the prices. I think people would be surprised when they come in to see what the prices are. Jennifer, I can't thank you enough for talking to me about what's brought you to the Eastern Sierra, about the store, about you know your goals mm -hmm. and, and everything moving forward in the future. Um, and if I if we don't have anything else to share, I really want to go shopping. <laughs> okay. Because I see like five, I want to show things. you everything. I need to go. <laughs> it's very hard to sit here and not shop. That's so great. it was really my pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much yes, for coming absolutely. on the show and sharing with us. And I, I can't thank wait you. to you know hear about everybody else that gets to come in here okay. and have this experience too. So, I just want to thank the Bishop Area Chamber of Commerce for everything that they've done to help us get going. We kind of just hit the ground running, not knowing exactly what to do. They're helping us with our advertising, getting the word out, and we've had plenty of uh, people come in and say that the Chamber sent them. So, thank you.